Netflix used its WitcherCon streaming event to announce that its hit adaptation of Andrzej Sapkowski's fantasy series will be returning for season two on December 17th. They also released the first teaser trailer for the new season, which follows the adventures of Henry Cavill's Geralt of Rivia as he tries to protect Princess Cirilla of Sentra from both external threats and her own growing magical power. So let's dive into the trailer for hints about what's to come, drawing from what we know from the books, and consider yourself warned that potential spoilers will follow. The first scene shows Cirilla and Geralt sitting under a tree in the snow. Ciri asks Geralt, so I'm your destiny? A reference to her becoming his ward due to the law of surprise. Geralt was told in season one that Ciri was his destiny, and despite multiple attempts to keep the two of them apart, they finally united in the final episode. Now, Geralt is making good on his promise to keep the princess safe. Geralt responds to Ciri's question by saying, You're much more than that, Cirilla. Ciri isn't just important to the Witcher, but to numerous other factions as the heir to Sintra and a source, someone capable of extremely powerful and destructive acts of magic. The much more line is also a reference to the short story titled Something More, written by Sapkowski. Here, Ciri is riding Geralt's trusty steed horse, Roach, with the cloaked Witcher walking alongside her. I need to understand some things, she tells him, potentially preparing to ask questions about her mysterious brooding protector or the abilities she manifested a few times in season one. Geralt tells Ciri that the world is changing. Sintra isn't safe for you anymore. As we see him walk through the snow with bandaged legs and his sword in hand, looking down at a body. With most of Sintra murdered by the Nilfgaardian Empire, which is still hunting for Ciri, that seems like a bit of an understatement. Ciri and Geralt journey to Kaer Morin, the mountain stronghold where Geralt and the other witchers of the School of the Wolf trained. In the books, Geralt brings Ciri to his former home to enlist his brother's help protecting her and to train her to protect herself. Geralt is welcomed home by the few other witchers who are left. They are gathered in Kaer Morin's dining room, a location that also appears in the Witcher video game. This is our first look at many of the new characters in this season, including Basil Eidenbenz's Eskel and Paul Bullion's Lambert, who gives Geralt a big hug. Eskel, seen wearing the same wolf amulet as Geralt plus a pretty mean scar, seems a lot more dubious of Ciri's appearance, interrupting her having what looks like a nice glass of wine by asking, who the hell are you? Geralt is doing some furious sword training, really teaching those wooden stakes a lesson. This seems like a reference to The Witcher 3, where you learn the game's controls by taking him through a training session at Kaer Morin. We see Ciri twitching in her sleep with Geralt watching her while the voiceover says, Sometimes I feel so afraid. In the books, Ciri's power afflicts her with terrible nightmares and Geralt eventually recruits the sorceress Triss Marigold to help soothe them. Here is a showcase of some of the many impressive weapons stored in Kaer Morin, including swords seen in The Witcher 3. Ciri tells Geralt, I feel like I could burn the whole world, and he seems understandably pretty nervous about that. We've already seen some of what happens when her power is unleashed, and it's devastating. A source doesn't have control over magic the way a sorcerer does, but can destroy an entire town if they panic. Geralt tells Ciri that facing your fear is not easy, but I am here for you, and hands her a wooden training sword. In both the book Blood of Elves and The Witcher 3, Geralt trains Ciri in the ways of a witcher, and she becomes a very impressive warrior. But first, she's going to need to ditch that lovely pearl-embroidered gown and fur coat for something more functional. But Geralt doesn't want Ciri to think she can fight her way out of most situations, warning her that when I say run, you run. The warning is imposed over what appears to be a harpy shrieking through the sky, plus a man underground drawing a sword. This could be a first look at Reince, a mage and assassin tasked with finding Ciri. Here, a wounded Geralt, sword in hand, comes crashing through the gates. It's unclear if he's running from something or away from it. These are a variety of Witcher medallions, not just representing the School of the Wolf, but other factions, such as the School of the Griffin. This could be tribute to fallen Witchers at Kaer Morin, or something more sinister. Ciri is seen stopping a group of women from fleeing. Judging from the way they're dressed, this might be taking place at one of the brothels that Geralt frequents. Geralt is seen doing some more training, and presumably the equally white-haired man at the forefront is his mentor, Vesemir. Mark Hamill had been rumored to be up for the role of Vesemir, but ultimately, actor Kim Bodnia took the part. Geralt mentions that Vesemir says the world outside these walls is a dangerous place, and that certainly seems to be the case, judging from the montage that follows. We see Geralt looking spooky under the influence of one of his enchantment potions, a town square decked out with black banners showing the great son of Nilfgaard and what might be a ghoul in the snow. Geralt assures Ciri that she can find power and purpose, and we see them using a variety of tools from the mundane to the magical ahead of a shot that seems to be Geralt and Vesemir standing back to back to face some threat. 
More than halfway through this trailer, we finally get a look at the outcome of the Battle of Sodden Hill, with Tessiah DeVries surveying the many casualties. Both she and Geralt seem to be looking for Yennefer, who disappeared after unleashing the full force of her chaos to protect her fellow sorcerers from being annihilated by Nilfgaard. A voice asks Geralt, what if your princess is more than you bargained for, over another set of rapid-fire clips showing him fighting, still with that bandaged leg, and Ciri meeting a woman in the woods who lowers her hood to reveal red hair. Triss has red hair in the games, though it's brown in the show's first season. Considering mages can change their appearance, it's possible her look has changed a bit too. In the books, Triss loses most of her hair in the fire at Sodden, so this could be a result of magical healing. Triss serves as a secondary mentor for Ciri in the books, coming to care more in to teach her skills like the elder speech and how to use cosmetics. Triss also has a romantic fling with Geralt, though he rejects her for Yennefer. That might be their hands intimately meeting here. For something completely different, here's Yaskier living it up and sporting a very jaunty cap and purple outfit that makes him look much more like his game equivalent. By the blood of elves, Yaskier, aka Dandelion, has become a pretty famous bard trading off tales of Geralt, Yennefer, and Ciri, but that fame comes with some very unwanted attention. A sort of post-logo stinger, here's the Nilfgaardian mage Fringilla, looking just a little worse for wear after Sodden, who says welcome back to Yennefer who's lying under a tree. Has Yennefer been captured? We'll likely have to wait until December 17th to learn more. Let us know what you thought of the Witcher Season 2 trailer, and for all other things Witcher, keep it locked to IGN. Are you sure you're ready for this?